Yeah, really well. Well, we're not too bad at all. Uh, how long have you guys been together now? It's quite a few years, isn't it? Uh, we've been together seven years now. Seven years. And how many, is, it, is it like stable at six or is there eight a year? Or how many is uh, all together usually? Six, including guests. We still work with a lot of people. But yeah, we're a stable six as a band now, yeah. Oh, cool. And I noticed last summer you was quite busy, weren't you guys? You was, uh, you know, doing quite a few festivals here and there. Yeah, yeah, we've been uh, doing quite a few festivals. We've done Lake Fest, we've done Trid Fest. Uh, what other ones have we done? Glastonbladey. Yeah. Um, yeah, a few last year. We was quite lucky to have quite a few last year, actually, after the... Uh, after COVID? Yeah, after that. Uh, we played our biggest one, which was Lake Fest, which was awesome. Where um, was that? Whereabouts is Lake Fest? Herefordshire. Herefordshire, yeah. And uh, it had C6 Steve there, Razor Light. Oh, nice. And uh, Tom Jones was there. And then we was on one of the smaller stages, granted, but we were still there. We did actually clash with Tom Jones at the time. But yeah, we somehow managed to get a crowd, so... Well, not everybody likes Tom Jones, doesn't he? <laughs> Can't beat a bit of Tom. Did you stay over for the weekend while he was down there? Cause quite yeah, wide, we all stayed there, man. We had we brought some guests with us as well, which was nice. Our friend Chico came with his family, uh, Curtis from the Enablers. Uh, Comprehend came as well. Oh well, so you had a you had a, a, a right big sort of little camp circle then. Uh, yeah, yeah. And after lockdown, mate, it was what we all needed. Yeah, but you had a really really good time. What's the first first song you're going to play for us tonight, guys? Uh, the first song is called Taking My Time. It's a new song of ours off the uh, new album that's coming this year. Excellent. It should be uh, sort of August time we're hoping for. But yeah, this is uh, one of the tracks from it. It's called Taking My Time. Off you go. I've been told ten times I'll be told again To stop running around Living life on the fence But I won't No, I won't I've been down so low I've rode in the deep But only God knows I saw what I read So I saw What I read I'm just taking my time Living my life And I don't need no one to tell me How to live it right Well, I'm taking my time I'm feeling alright And I won't be the one to tell you How to live your life I won't be the one to tell you Cause I don't need advice So I could put up a couple of other returns To show you my demons I could talk about love The woman I've got The troubles we've seen But I won't No, I won't I've been down so long in the deep Oh, only God knows I saw what I read So I saw What I read Hey, I'm just taking my time I'm living my life And I don't need no one to tell me How to live it right While well, I'm taking my time I'm feeling
to do. Well, I'm just taking my time, living my life. That don't need no one to tell me how to live it right. Well, I'm taking my time, taking my time, feeling alright. To tell you I don't need advice. Thank you. So, are you busy recording your album at the moment? Then we are. We're about halfway through. Uh, we've got six, seven tracks at the minute. We've been working at the uh, Electric Bear Studios in Mansfield. Ah. With some uh, awesome guys, they've really helped us capture like the band sound. Because in the past, we've always done stuff uh, MIDI based and tried to do it ourselves. But this time, we're going in as a band. Yeah, did you, didn't you last time you did some recording in like a back of a van or something like that? Yeah, mate, we've done kitchens, vans, <laughs> bedrooms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this time, yeah, it was nice you, going to a proper studio and building yeah. it up as a band, like proper, because it, it feels better for the band as well, because they're actually involved rather than using MIDI drums and yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. So. I take it this is good, this costing you a little bit of money then. Yeah, yeah. every session <laughs> costs us money, but it's yeah, worth it. That. It's worth it. Hopefully, we'll get it back. Yeah, I take it like you probably have a band fund or something, do you? That you'll pay into, or you keep your money from your gigs or whatever. Yeah, with before lockdown, we was lucky enough to be able to be self-sustaining with the gigs, but then obviously because of lockdown, yeah. the gigs stopped, so we we had to reach into our pockets to chip in to get this album done. So, which is absolutely fine because we just wanted to keep going. Because you really enjoy doing it. Yeah. Yeah. That's what a lot of people don't realise. You know, most of the time it costs musicians money to record albums and even perform gigs sometimes and stuff like that. So a lot of time when you're in the band, you're working at a loss. Oh, yeah, yeah there's a lot of hidden costs that are involved that a lot of people don't see that the band suffer with. Yeah, right, you have to invest in yourself to move forward, I think, as well. But, you, you, but you've done, been doing pretty well by the sounds of it, all the, all the festivals you've uh, been doing. Yeah, we was really thankful for that, especially after lockdown. It was surprising. A couple of them did roll over from before lockdown. Like, mm. we was already booked for it, so they, it was good to be called back because, you know, they could have easily just started up fresh and got a load yeah. of new acts. So it was, it was nice that they rolled over. Yeah, that's good then. That's good then. So what are you doing, a weekend at a time, a Saturday, or...? Uh, every month we're trying to do the studio at the minute. Yeah, so you watch that one, one track or two tracks a shot? Uh, get one track done a month. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we're hoping because we're halfway through we're yeah. hoping for sort of August time we've already oh. uh, what we're going to do is we're going to the Voodoo Lounge at Stamford yeah and uh, we're doing a launch there so, so we're going to play the album but we're also going to film it Ah. so when it comes to putting the album out hopefully we'll have a DVD slash CD sort of thing oh, that'll be nice yeah, yeah. And you've got some f live footage from a, from a gig when That's did you it. say that was in, in August yeah August 29th that is well, quite April. or April 29th sorry I'm saying <laughs> August because of the release April 29th is a live gig, and August will be when they're hopefully we totally, August, totally yeah. yeah, cool. And what's the next track you're going to play for us this evening? Uh, this next track's called Troubles. Off you go. Oh, the future's 
future's mine, the future's ours, I won't change I smoke my troubles, I smoke my troubles Where I blaze the pain for sake, I need to make a change I know I change the game, the way I smoke will take me higher Show me love, I'll show you trust and run my place beside you Show me butter, roll it up, 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 up. No, I cannot breathe Oh, this I'm racking up I cannot leave So I'll be a cancer patient From all this damn complacent From all this time They've had a chance So they can't ask for patience Smoke my troubles away. Believe in karma Because I see you every day yeah. Smoke my troubles away. So don't you worry, sing me Don't you be afraid I Smoke my troubles away. The future's mine The future's I was I won't change I smoke my troubles I smoke my But I won't change, I smoke my troubles, I smoke my troubles away. Thank you guys. Michael, you got some comments for us? Yes, I have. Good evening all. Two shout outs. Uh, Jill Day, hello boys, have a great time. Cats fed, listening with the Italians. Oh. And Stuart Inger from Nottingham, uh, loving it, uh, from Stu and Heather in Nottingham. I've got a shout-out to uh, Alan Barnes and a uh, shout-out to uh, Richard Hart, who's watching it. He said, oh, lost you guys uh, as soon as you started, but back with you now. Oh, perhaps, I'll, perhaps something dropped out or something like that. <laughs> but not, not to worry, not to worry. Uh, how do you go about your songwriting nowadays, then, guys? With six of you in the band, who's the main songwriter? Uh, me, me and Craig tend to write the songs, but we all have an input now, so it's, we get together to write the songs now, which mm. is nice. And you yeah, must we get together with a small, a small structure of a song, and we all piece it together in the studio normally. All put our own influences into it, and then, yeah, get on to the studio we go, and the final product comes out. Yeah, I suppose it makes it quite different with a keyboard as well. It makes it uh, different, yeah. I get, I, get to, I, I get to use samples and stuff, which is fun. Yeah, we'll, we'll show you the jump around sample we got on there when we do a cover of House of Pain, but I think it'll blow us all away. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I suppose really, when, uh, AJ, you, you, write, you write a song and then, like I say, six of you, so it can start off sounding like one, one sort of song and end up finishing totally different how you envisioned it, really. Yeah, mate, that first song we played, Taking My Time, is actually mm. uh, from one of the first songs we did. It was like seven years old, but we've only just managed to get it right as a band. Ah. So it's, it's like that, like when you all come together and it sounds different to how you do it when you do it by yourself. So it took seven years to get that song how it is. Yeah, and there's a, a few cases where some song, like we could just change it on the spot as we're recording it. So one song would sound, I don't know, like Poppy, for example. Yeah. But then some aspects could make it sound more like a metal song, which is a really bad example because we don't do that. But no. <laughs> that's the kind of thing we work working with. I take it you, uh, you, you would like to... Uh, do a bit of a metal song, to Toby, then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we're still hoping to get a metal slash hip-hop track for the album. So I oh, think it'll nice. work. we just got to find the right way to do it so we do it some justice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be quite interesting, really, because you do mix and match it up quite well. Yeah, like we, that's all we've done. We've always mixed the genres, so the album already is sounding quite... We've got a bit of country on there, a bit of reggae. A bit of folk. A bit of rock. Yeah, and we, just need, we've got some, we just need a bit more hip-hop on there now, because that's obviously the roots, but... Yeah, yeah. You look sounds like you sort of moved away a little bit from your hip hop. Definitely with this album. I think with it being a band recorded album and obviously moving away from the samples and the MIDI side mm. of it, um, it's definitely started to come across more of a rock album, if anything. But um, yeah, I'm happy with that because like we like all sorts of music as well. So we've done plenty of hip hop in the past, and we've got a hip hop project coming out next month as well called Beginners Look Four. Oh yeah. 
and uh, is that under the name of the collective, or is that something different again? It's under our name, but it's uh, more hip hop based. The whole band's played on it, apart from Toby Bless, because again, the drums were always the hard part, weren't they? Yeah. So like. If we could, if we just had somewhere we could set Toby up and record him on the drums easily, then when that would be When you've got this much, it's fine. It's somewhere to put it all, basically. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got you. So okay. we've obviously got the hip-hop side of it and then the live band side of it as well, so it's cool. Oh, look forward to that as well. What's the next track you're going to do for us, guys? Uh, Craig's going to come uh, play one of the new tracks off the album. It's called Figure It Out. It's a banger. <laughs> We're not fully practised it with the band yet, so I'm doing it solo. <laughs> oh, off you Have go. You get the guitar on. Get the touch out. Keep keep talking instead of loads of gaps in the. You'll be fine. Right, this song's called Figure It Out. Off you go. Because I don't for found Just searching for some meaning with my head in the clouds Making myself busy going round and around Gotta keep myself busy, make my mum proud But recently my thesis has been running the ground A piece of me's been missing and it's dragging me down I gotta break my frequency and find a way out Gotta figure out the sequence to be free from doubt somehow We'll figure it out now It's time to put In a small town, they find my mother and father. They don't have to look very far to see all the love that they harbour. It's hard to look back, because at the time I would rather have been set out with some lager with the complete disregard for all of the care for. My sister and me, if I could turn back the time, I'd do things differently. But it doesn't matter now, I started to see the errors in my ways and my reason to be. We'll figure it out now. It's time to put. That's why they call it the law 
Thank you very much. So, Craig, how come uh, you managed to learn to play the <laughs> keyboards and the guitar? Um, I've, uh, I learned how to play the keyboard. I'll tell you what, I'll do this in the form of a little rap quickly. It's only about 20 seconds long. Yeah, go on then. Yeah. I, I grew up... Uh, how does that... I found music back when I was young and cute. I played the keyboard before I even tried a fruit shoot. So took lessons at seven, gave up at 11. I couldn't see the keyboard getting me to respect A few years later, I started rocking out guitar. I didn't listen to metal. It wasn't getting me far. I opened my mind, it helped me unwind, and now I'm making beats for all these similar minds. Answers all my questions. <laughs> <laughs> but one more thing. Did you go on to college or anywhere else like that to um, uh, study music? Yeah, I've uh, studied music production. Mm. Uh, just helps me out with the uh, with the um, hip hop side of things. Yeah, and and uh, being a keyboard player as well, you must be in quite a bit of demand. Do you do you play in any other bands? Uh, no, I I wouldn't want to play in any other bands. Just a collective for you. Yeah, definitely. Is that the only band you've ever played in? Or have you played in any? Um, you... I've dabbled at getting bands off the ground back in the day, but this is as far as I've gone in the band. So. Ah, well done. Well, you're you're a good talented musician. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're most welcome. What's the next song you're going to do for us, guys? Uh, we're going to do another one of my ones, but uh, we're going to do it with the whole band. And it's called The Struggle. Off you go. I haven't played this in ages. Actually, Aaron, do you want to...? <laughs> <laughs> Get dressed, eat food, digest, so you nine to five and then rest. Be running it out of that mess, every day is a bore. It's all with the same old chore, we entertain, it's a mental strain, we keep going back for more. What can you do with a smile though, it's a straight to Jeremy Carl show. Boys in line, been washing your mind, having the time for that vibe, I've moved out. Got the land, and the birds and the trees and the sand, with my guitar going to raise the bar, you can manage your helping hands. So take me away. For a bath and a family at school, it's like prison. You have to make money for the system. But the system I think you're free. It's an illusion, can't you see? Single sheep, you got brains. Time to gather those chains. Unite as one. Don't fight, spread love. I'll rise on me and watch the system crumble to the back of some of revolution to God. The world's can up to your lies. Won't take you much longer to stand with me. Fight his powers of beasts. Together we're so much stronger. So right, I feel love for the first time, and I know that it's you I can tell by the look in your eyes. Cracking stuff, cracking stuff. I can remember that one. How often do you guys uh, get together and uh, rehearse? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, no, I don't. Before Christmas, wasn't it? Yeah, when was our last gig? We haven't played November, together, we haven't played November. for two months. You haven't played together for two months. You're it's not our doing... first gig of the year, man. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, you say, I'm pretty tight for not, not having to gig together for two months. It's because we did so many gigs last year. 
Yeah, we did a lot of gigs last summer, so I feel like it wasn't that long ago before Christmas since we uh, we did a gig. But uh, we get together quite a lot anyway. Like, yeah. Literally at the weekend, Social we got yeah. together and did a sort of short film with some guys called The Freelancers. Mm. So we're not really actors, but we've got some extras in a sh- short film at the weekend. Oh, which nice. I think Michael's got loads of comments for us and shout-outs. certainly out. have, yeah. Uh, right, here we go. Gillian Barnett, James Taylor, William Stevens, Richard Hart, nice one, Craig. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Phil Taylor, Sean Muffet, Pat Sable Jolie, Ross Denton, and Adam Leeson said, sounding good. Hey, well good done, buddy. Ross. Good lad. What's, what's the music scene like up in Grantham nowadays? We've lost the, the venue, the Castlegate, which was a really... That used to be a busy venue, didn't it? Yeah, that, that got shut down because of COVID, I guess, I think, but um, it was just a damn shame. Yeah. Is that just boarded up now, then, is it? Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. It's probably converted into flaps. We got to do a good gig there before it did, so we're mm. happy that we got to do a last gig there before it did get shut down. Edwards, yeah. There is some gigs coming up, in there in Grantham? We've got one at Edwards. What date's that one? 20th of Feb. 20th of Feb. So that's that's probably going to be your first actual live gig of the year then. Yeah, it will yeah. be. I think it is, yeah, for sure. Are you playing with anybody else, guys, or just yourselves? Or There's a lot of acts on that night, isn't there? Yeah, there's nine other bands. Uh, free to decide are playing? No. Not no. Oh. <laughs> I know They're Aubrey mine. Eels are playing as well. Yeah, Aubrey Eels and the Baron. <laughs> Aubrey Hills so, is there, yeah, for sure. I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be wicked. So uh, I take it that's uh, what is like an uncovered one, is it? Yeah, and man. Yeah. Is it a charity do? Because I swear I've, I've seen the poster to it. Yeah, it is a charity one. That one. It's organised by Haley, right? Yeah, yeah organised by Haley Chapman. So what yeah. time does it all? It all kicks off about two o'clock, doesn't it, or something like that? Yeah, it's going to be a good day. Shout out to Haley Chapman for organising. Yeah, big that shout idea. out to Haley Chapman. Yeah. Okay. What's the next track you're going to play for us, guys? Uh, next track's uh, called "Drag Me Down." Off you go. Man. And do we you to think you're better on me, beer? I just want to be a better man, see So tell me, can you make it better, oh, baby? And I know it must be weird To see the way we both grow All I know is you're still here I'm hoping that you won't go And I want to see things clear I've been smoking on my homegrown all I know is you're still here I'm just hoping that you won't go Won't drag you down, I'll lift you up I'm still in love in case you don't know I'm feeling proud of how we turned out Not in doubt, I hope you won't go changing I hope you won't go changing I hope you won't go changing I hope you won't go Times can be challenging And every now and then we fight about the little things But it never lasts forever We're better off together I hope you understand You're the only one I need around the world my hand So don't go changing never You're worth every single measure And I know it must be on a lead guitar we've got Jordan Hankins here on lead guitar as well we've got Chris Moore bringing the low end we've got 
got Gav Barra right there, man. Craig Featherstone on keys. Toby on drums. Myself on vocals. And I know it must be real to see the way we both grow. All I know is you're still here. I'm just hoping that you won't go. And I want to see things clear. But I've been smoking on my homegrown. All I know is you're still here. I'm hoping that you won't go. Won't drag you down, I lift you up. I'm still in love, in case you don't know. I'm feeling proud of how it turned out. I'm not in doubt, I hope you won't go changing. I hope you won't go changing. I hope you won't go So AJ, how yeah, do you find uh, playing music in a band and fitting in uh, two little ones? Can't hear us. Oh. Has it gone? <laughs> Can't hear us. Hey. You can now? There he is. Oh, that's strange. It must be this blooming socket cable in here again. Oh, gone again. It's, it's, the, it's, the it's, that, ca it's that cable. Yeah, it's that cable. Yeah, there we go. We're back again. Yeah. Oh, that, I'll have to have Steve to have a look at that. Without a doubt. <laughs> can you hear us now? Yeah. yeah. Ah, cool. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, you can hear you. They just couldn't hear me. We had a few uh, technical difficulties the other week. So, AJ, how would you cope with doing music and having two kids at the same time? <laughs> Wicked, mate. They came to the festival with us. It was brilliant. Huh. They were enjoying it. Because, I mean, having, having uh, music can take a fair, fair amount of your time and having little ones as well. Yeah, it really does. I've got two of my own and... It's a struggle to work everything together, but balance, we love it. Balance, man. Yeah. Balance and everything and time. So so how, how old are yours, uh, Gav? Uh, I've got a five and a seven-year-old. Little, We'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> very, very well behaved. Good. But sometimes. <laughs> well, they, keep you, they, keep, they, keep, they keep you busy, kids, don't they? Keeping really? on my toes, yeah. yeah. Keep keep you young and fit, that's for sure. I wouldn't know about that. I've started to go grey now. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. How old are you now? If you don't want to confess, you can do. Um, unfortunately, I'm the eldest in the band. I'm 33. Ah, uh, started to go grey. Yeah. We're all getting But the least mature. The, yeah, definitely the most immature person in the band. <laughs> um, any chance of Are you the band. prankster then or something like that? Uh, I can be. What, what's on my car, Gav? Um, I don't think it's safe. No, you might not be able to say it. I'm not to say what I've drawn on his car, but it's got Mickey Mouse ears. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and how long have you uh, been uh, playing the bass, mate? Um, playing the bass um, since I was about 12 years old. Um, and then I've been with these guys for two, two and a half years, yeah. something like that, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I couldn't be happy with and that. And you must have been in a fair few bands in here and there. Oh, yeah, I've done everything from functional bands, heavy metal bands, and now I've just found my forte with these boys. Uh, you were in a band with Toby before this one, Yeah, we were in a, me and the drummer of Toby, uh, yeah. we were in a, a ska punk band called Mousetrap. Um, that so was Jordan of, as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that fell apart. Uh, our lead singer moved to China. Um, and then, yeah, I finally got the opportunity. The worst thing was that when this band first started out, yeah. um, I was asked to be the drummer, uh, to be the bassist. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I turned it down. Like, no, not for me. Don't Actually, like can it. I just interject here? It wasn't that you turned it down. It was that I spent weeks trying to get in touch with you, and you dropped your phone. Yeah. So, so I couldn't ring you. And then by the <laughs> yeah. time by the time I'd heard about it, it was like, oh yeah, we've already started a bassist. Oh. You don't need to worry anymore. <laughs> and then it was I started to hear the music material that they were producing, and I was just sat there feeling sorry for myself, wishing that things had gone right. And then I finally got the opportunity two years ago and I haven't looked back since. Oh, fair shout. What was the name of the first band you was in? Can you remember? Oh, my. Um, it was a thrash metal band in Leicester called Primigenia. Um, Primi what, sorry? <laughs> Bless <laughs> you. Exactly. <laughs> Primigenia. Ah. Um, it was, uh, I think I was about 17 at the time. Um, and it was just one of those... I can play an instrument, let's just make some noise. 
Um, well, but I mean, it was good fun at the time, though. Oh, yeah, it was great fun. No one listened to us. We were absolutely awful, but <laughs> it, was, uh, it was fun while it lasted. That's amazing. Mark, have you got any more comments for us or yeah. shout-outs? A couple of shout-outs? Yeah, I've got a shout-out here from, I believe it's Mona Yo. Hey. Yeah, oh, I see. <laughs> Love you guys. I'm your number one fan. And Lou, she's great. Lou she's, Rawdon. She's at every gig. Lou Rawdon. Lou, Laura Lou Rawdon, I think that is. That's yeah. it. Yep. Yeah, that's oh. the fella. And there's a few more, yeah. Shout out to uh, Neil Hilltop Graphics. Uh, shout out to Sean Moore. Shout out to uh, Mark Peacock. And a shout out to uh, Lee Scott. Guys, thank you very much for listening and uh, watching the show. What's the uh, next track you're going to play for us, guys? Uh, the next song's called Poison. I think you know this one. Off you go. I found it in my dreams, I found it in my sheets And now it's in the streets and the noises Polluting all the beats And the truth is when they speak They're destroying peace while employment It's the power of the beast So think before you speak Cause the masons ain't free while enjoyment It's all I've got and so I speak Believe I'm a preach About the government's needs to push poison It's just poison Just to believe in your eyes We're free outside We're not free in our mind, no And the reason why We believe their lies It's strange, their games They deceive our lives Do you really believe They can free your mind, why? And the reason why We believe their lies If you don't know why Then believe or find a reason For me to exist in this life Like poison I guess the point is there and we are on the way Knowing that we're running scared and the choice is You could come prepared, you could wander, yeah But I know we're there while avoiding All the guns they share Cause it's a world full of hate and I've had my share It's annoying, I they claim to care Of the weapons we're against all come from there We're deploying, what a way to end misfortune Kill us all off with the wrath of fortune Think of all that they taught you, man, to fight for your country, that's a way to pawn you. Go on, shave all your heads, keep on supporting. Days gonna come and we'll be your war. You're with them, I'm with peace. I'm gonna preach for the benefit of freedom of speech, not poison. And the reason why we believe their lies is they teach us to believe in our eyes. We're free outside, we're not free in our mind, not. And the reason why we believe their lies is they teach just to believe in your eyes We're free outside We're not free in our minds, no And the reason why We believe their lies is strange Their games, they deceive our lives If you really believe They can free your mind, why? And the reason why We believe their lies If you don't know why Then believe or find A reason for us all to exist In this life like boys I 
can remember that one from the, the good old days. Because yeah. I mean, it must be what two, three. It must be three years back since you've been on the show, isn't it? Four years, mate. We had is it four, four years? It five years, but it's four. Four decades. years. I can't believe that's four years gone. Yeah, yeah my gone. last time I come to see you was uh, when we did the collaboration album, the mixed personalities album. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. That, I, I, Oh, I would have thought it's only been a couple of years ago or something like that. Yeah, it's flown by, mate. I don't know well, where It's easy to forget the last two years even happened, to be fair. Well, yeah, that's that's true enough. That is true enough. Yeah, without a doubt, yeah, yeah. I was just hoping that now we come out of another sort of semi-lockdown and working from home, that this is going to be the last time. You like to hope you know, so, yeah. It send us all crazy, that's you know. It. Without a doubt. But you guys do like uh, writing quite political songs, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like open to interpretation, I think, that way, because then people can draw their own conclusion from it rather than preaching. But it is nice to have an opinion. Yeah, I have my opinions, but they're mine at the same time, so it's like... But you do put them down in, into... Well, somebody's putting them down into verse. Yeah, right there. yeah. Put them into song, and it's, it sort of gets it out of my head, so I feel better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think it's good that a band has a bit of an opinion. Why not? There's not enough bands around nowadays that have an opinion. Yeah, man, I feel that. Yeah. Speaking of which, uh, Death of the High Street, this T-shirt I'm wearing, that gig that we're doing at the Voodoo in uh, Stamford yeah. in April. April, not August. No, August. <laughs> um, we've got Enabler Promotions coming down with the Enablers, they're called now, um, Comprehend from Leicester, and Death of the High Street from Mansfield. You've got a good mix. If checked out any of those, then you, you should go check them out. Yeah, check them out on their Facebook site page. Michael, you got a few more comments and shout-outs? Yes, I have. Um, Right, where do we start? There's just a lot of them, isn't there? A lot of people watching. They're coming in thick and fast, guys. Hayley Chapman, hey guys, just finished work. Hey, hey, hey. Richard Hart, remember this one? From the yeah. Gravity Days. From the Gravity Days. <laughs> First That's song right. I ever played yep. on the radio. Uh, Sean Kisby. Big shout out to Sean. Uh, Matthew, Matthew Must. Shout out to Matthew Must. Sean Morn, sound, uh, standing, sounding really good. And Luke Bland. Big shout out to Luke Bland. Guys, thank you very much for listening and uh, watching the show. Legends. Yeah. Time is piling on, but we, we're, we're cutting through. And what's the next song you're going to play for us? Uh, this is actually the last one we've got. It's a, is it? That's yeah. all right. It's another new one. It's a, This is the country sort of vibe we're talking a country about. country one? It's off the new album. We have got a title for it, but we're saving that until... All we right, you're not going to reveal album. that. But yeah. this is a bit of an exclusive tonight. Are we the first people ever to hear it? Yeah. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Playing. It's called Unbalanced. Off you go. Do you feel the weight of the greedy and the blind? Like the pain that we hide only live in one side of the fence And the rest don't really care Guess it's cool to not give enough I guess it's cool to be you, I don't think that's much But we're all still worthy of love Used to think it was nice to just write all my friends About how we're all fine and the world don't make sense But then, all good things come to an end I'm still feeling like me in this Oh, gotta grow, I won't hold it against you yeah, I'm knowing my place and we needed this On balance we're all there now No limits for waking up No answers are all we found The people are waking up On balance guy that is lost stuck in the past where we your once was well do you think he's doing enough no more following it's time to get up time is borrowed now it's time to pay up so it's a hollow there are lies to the touch hope tomorrow we'll try in the love we're needing it on balance we're all there now no limits we're waking up
pushing all their lives away. When the flames out, go in to say on your grave and feed your soul now. Try to give your mind to pray, yeah. Thank you very much, guys, for coming on to the show. Got a few Thanks for having us, Doc, man. It's good to see you again, too. And it was you. Got a few more shout-outs. Mark, who you got a shout-out for? Yeah, I got one from uh, Sinead Cannon. Hey, Sinead. Sinead, yes. Hayley Chapman says, Love it. Awesome tunes. Can't wait to gig you with later this year. And one to Gav, 33 is young. I've got one. I've got a shout out to uh, Lorraine Horrocks. And uh, I know she's out in uh, Mexico on holiday at the moment. So I uh, hope you're enjoying your hol holiday a lot, uh, Lorraine. Have a good uh, Guys, thank you very much for coming on the show. Absolutely brilliant. And uh, we look forward to listening to uh, the new album. Uh, this is a band called.